Hi, and welcome to Introductory Programming with C++. In this video lecture, I'm going to show you how to create your first C++ program using the Dev C++ IDE. Now, the first thing you'll need to do is to download it and install it on your computer. So you can get a free copy by going to http colon forward slash forward slash www.bloodshed.net forward slash dev forward slash dev dev cpp dot html and once you've downloaded that and installed it on your computer you'll be able to follow along with some of these video lectures okay so assuming now that you have the Dev C++ program installed, we can get started. The first thing you're going to do is to create a new source file. So in the menu you're going to go to File, New, Source File. And you can see this is something that you'll probably do a lot, so keyboard shortcut you might want to remember is Control N. And then at this point we can begin typing in our program. Now you'll get some program code usually in the beginning chapters of a book or you might find something online. And I'm just going to do an example of a basic Hello World program. So we'll start out with our include. And I'm going to do another separate lecture that's going to go through and explain what each of these lines do and what their purpose is in the program. It's important when you type this code in that uh, everything is spelled correctly and that you have used the same case as what we're typing in uh, because they will have an impact on whether your program will actually run or not. So I have entered all of the information for our program. And now before we can uh, compile and run our program we need to save it. So to save our file we will go up to File on the menu and choose Save and it's the standard keyboard shortcut Control S. Next you want to pick a location where you want to save your file and give it a name. So I'm just going to call this hello and I'm going to use the extension .cpp which is short for C++. And I'll click save. And now my tab up here instead of being untitled now shows you the name of the file. And as you're working in Dev C++ uh, if you make a change, you'll notice that you have a little asterisk in the tab, and that indicates that any changes that you've just made have not been saved. So once you save your file, um, there's also a save button on the toolbar that looks like an old three and a half inch floppy disk. Uh, when you save it, then the tab is updated and that asterisk is removed. Next step after we've saved our file is we want to compile our program. Now compiling it is going to take our code that we've typed in here and uh, basically convert it into machine language that the computer can use which is in binary. So there's a couple of ways to compile. We can go to execute on the menu and then choose compile. You can also see this icon right here for compile. It's also located on the toolbar here, so we can just click there. And then, of course, the keyboard shortcut, Control F9, for something that you might use regularly. It's good to remember some of these keyboard shortcuts. So I'm going to compile. And as long as there are no problems or errors, we get this compile progress, and it'll say done. Uh, hopefully you don't have any errors or any warnings. And we'll have another uh, 
video to show you how to deal with some common problems in fixing your errors. So when you get this uh, progress window, you can just close it.